hello friends welcome to my youtube channel friends today we will discuss how to configure a raid on hp proliant dl380 generation 10 uh, server uh, we will guide you step by step how to configure raid controller first of all power on your server and wait for screen and press F9 when it and when it run bio systems Here we will press F9 uh, shows system utilities when we press on it then it will goes to RAID controller utilities <coughs> we have to wait some seconds Now here are some options like system configuration. If we click on system configuration then there are different options like disk utilities and here are three disks are available each are 960 GBs. Then we click on smart array. Here our second option is array configuration create array. Here we will see all the hard drives which are attached to the system and we will select these uh, hard drives and after that we will select RAID, RAID 0, RAID 5, RAID 1. As we have three hard drive installed so uh, we have three options RAID 0, RAID 5, RAID 1 and after selection RAID 5 here is a name of logical drive label it's uh, by default we can also use some other label then size unit size parity initialization method it's all default we will not change anything then after that we will submit changes because first if uh, uh, we have to uh, default all the setting like strip size full uh, strip size and other things click on submit changes <coughs> if we have multiple uh, friends if we have multiple uh, drive label then we can uh, set the name of different drives after uh, doing we will click on submit changes array configuration is um, OK controller configuration setting uh, here we see controller information these are the controller information like size like version its cache size and all about the controller its cache size, its uh, driver version, controller status and controller configuration status this is all about the controller information after that we will click on configure controller setting, modify controller setting and if we click on modify cache setting then here is different options we set as default after that some other settings in controllers like degraded perform option and some other option 
like clear cache shape if we want to clear cache shape then it will also clear configuration then all the reads and all the configuration will be clear backup power source manage power setting and some other options <coughs> we can also select the bell and power mode like maximum optimum and some other option and modify expander minimum scan these these are the uh, some optional settings which we do not need to do while settings uh, rate configuration almost our rate configuration are done now we are uh, seeing some other option like array a <coughs> we also see list logical drives if we see uh, logical drive then there are it sees red uh, shows a red level red level 5 and some other option we can also edit uh, logical drives or delete logical drives and manage areas in manage areas if we click on it we will click on embedded red 1 hp smart array we will not click uh, click ilo 5 while uh, configure raid configuration <coughs> system configuration in system configuration these are the option system inf information in system information its processor information it's all about the processor information like processor cache processor speed then memory information it's all about memory information memory slot operating frequency and some other information PCA device information and storage device information like some other option USB drive information firmware and all other options no if we will uh, ok then all the settings are saved and our system will be reboot no our system is rebooted and we will again verify the settings if it all about ok <coughs> now system is loading if we want to go to controller option then we have to press F9 as I already shared when we will press F9 then our system will goes to system configuration read configuration <coughs> we can also uh, configure ILO in while uh, system utilities and we can also configure a uh, RAID controller here we again uh, come in system configuration and click on RAID array configuration if we click on array create array here is gives information that there is no logical drive available because our RAID are configured that's why it gives message so it it means our RAID are successfully built thank you bye